I'm doing, how y'all doing? What's up, people? Yeah, you see, uh, the best record, most goals. They said they said history. Uh, you know that now they in the playoffs. Uh, you know, and uh, I guess this they new logo. So, you know, just wish some guys uh, luck, and uh, you know, you know, uh, we love championships. So hopefully they can win one. Matt, how important is this little stretch you guys are on right now, especially coming off the last two games <coughs> as you guys build momentum? Kind of going forward. Uh, I think uh, it's very important to just stack wins. Whenever, whenever you can get a chance to just continue to win and pile on wins, that's a good thing. Uh, especially where we are in the season now. Uh, you know, after two months in the season, if you can just uh, continue to win, uh, you just put yourself in a better position uh, going down the season. But right now, we just got to focus on one game at a time. And I think uh, with that mindset. Uh, and mentality, uh, every, everything is uh, clicked for us. But right now, it's one game at a time. A couple of weeks ago, you guys were saying that you felt better than the 2-14. and 14. Do you feel like you've made that turn, the tightest turn for you guys? Yeah, man, I, I say it every time I get up here. We know what we got. We know what we got. And uh, so, you know, but you are what your record says. Right now, we're 500, and we, uh, it's Plenty of 500 teams. We actually playing a 500 team right now. So somebody gonna go above, somebody gonna go under, and uh, we just gotta focus on what we doing it, doing right now. And so you know the record keeps account of all the wins and losses that we have. Uh, but right now we gotta focus on beating Carolina and uh, what uh, what they have and stopping uh, their offense. Would you see Darnold or PJ Walker? How he is, you know going to be keeping either one of those guys inside the pocket knowing mm -hmm. that they could do some damage on the run? Uh, you know, they they just extend plays and extend drives. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, kind of devastating when you got everybody covered. Uh, you feel like you get a good rush, and then it's a rush lane open, and uh, they go from third and seven to first first down, and they still got the ball. So uh, we, uh, we got we to gotta do a great job of keeping them in the pocket making him uh, beat us with his arm, uh, either quarterback, uh, and just uh, making – because they can make the throws, but we just got to make sure they make them throws in the pocket when they get out on the run and they can extend plays and uh, receivers can c come uncovered and stuff like that. Uh, it, it gets a little hard, you know, uh, but when you keep them in the pocket, uh, you know, uh, we got the 50-50 balls with our DBs. You know, I'm, I'm choosing our DBs every time. So uh, we just got to make sure uh, that we, the, uh, up front, the linebackers, D-line, we keep them in the pocket and uh, make sure uh, he uh, got to play quarterback. Every team has their, every team has their group of um, your playmakers. Um, how good of a playmaker is CMC if he does play? A game breaker, you know. He he could be one guy that can win the game, and you know. And I think uh, I think they are, their offense knows that, and their whole team knows that. And I think they're more comfortable uh, when he is on the field, you know. But uh, with him off the field, uh, they still got uh, uh, Hubbard. Uh, they still got a, a group of running backs that can, that can get the job done if we don't if we don't go out there and play well. And then they also got playmakers at wide receivers, you know. They lined up uh, DJ in the backfield, and he kind of runs some of those kind of similar routes. And he's t he's tough to stop as well. And so uh, they got they got a lot of playmakers around around the field. But uh, you know, uh, Christian is who he is. You know, we we all know that, and we all seen that. And he's uh, he's one of the best players or backs in the league uh, among among the better ones. And uh, so when when he's on the field, you kind of you circle that guy. You make sure he make sure you know where he's at at all times. And Matt, it's, it's not all about numbers, but obviously three games. Your, your numbers have been fantastic. Just what do you attribute to that and you know the production you've had so far? Uh, God, you know, glory to God, and then uh, my teammates, uh, and then thirdly my coaches. Uh, you know, first of all, without God, I couldn't do anything. So our power and glory goes to him. But then uh, my teammates set me up. Uh, they set me up for great positions. 
Uh, they put me in good spots so, uh, to ha so, so I can have success, you know, uh, you know. So I'm over there rushing with Barmore last week, and uh, he's breaking a pocket for me. Uh, and, you know, he, he's getting the QB off his mark and stuff like that. And same thing if I'm rushing with Carl, LG, or DG. Uh, they all they all do a great job. And then, uh, you know, sometimes me and KB is rushing o over there. Uh, and and KB will break the pocket or he'll, he'll be like, all right, let's run this game. And he know it's going to work. But he know he's a sacrificial lamb. And, uh, and so – you know they all they all do it for me, and uh, I I definitely appreciate everybody on the team, and they see that I'm having success, and they see I'm getting numbers, but like you know when I'm celebrating or something like that, you don't you don't see like a, a player like oh man he doing it again or something like that. They all celebrating with me, and then when I go when I go to the sideline or we on the field, you know I celebrate with them too. You know I do I do my uh, celebration, but then I go to my teammates because I know without them, without the DBs covering or the uh, the LBs running some type of game or the D line doing that, you know I, I wouldn't be able to have success. But you know I'm getting the stats right now, and if it was somebody else in this position, say if it was a uh, Josh or Chase or High or anybody KV bent, I I had the same excitement for them as I I would have for myself. Uh, so. And then uh, my coaches, they just put me in great, great positions. Uh, they draw, they drawing up some, uh, you know, explicit word to get me uh, free. And then uh, I just got to go out there and do the rest myself. You know, they, you know, they, they can only X and O's. They not Jims and Joes. So I just go out there and try to make the plays and make it look as good as they thought it would look in their head. And so I'm just. Uh, I'm just blessed right now, and uh, I kind of give it all back to my teammates and coaches. How, how close do you feel like you got to uh, blocking that punt the other day? Oh, man, I was right there, man. Shoot. Uh, I, I was kind of talking to uh, Slate, and uh, I ain't never been like, I ain't never like was coming that free, and the punter still had the ball in his hand. Uh, you know, I just got to, I just got to get my technique better, got to make sure. I don't, I don't uh, run into or rough the kicker and stuff. You know, they they protect the players, kind of like quarterbacks, and uh, for good reason. And but uh, you know, I was I was this close, man. I was this close. So, uh, but uh, you know, I just gotta just gotta work harder next time. Matthew, just to close the circle on something I had asked you earlier in the season. I think you you won your appeal on that sign from the. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, I guess uh, the good people at the NFL office seem fit that they should get my money back, and I agree with them. And so, uh, and so, uh, I I thank them, and I think that they took they took their time, but they came out with a decision that I like. But uh, you know, that's just kind of how it is. Uh, football's bang bang. Uh, and when you get to slow it down and you can actually see it uh, and you can st step back and take a a very long two-month look at it. Uh, and then it, they came out with, a, you know, like I said, a decision that I like. So uh, appreciate you, John Ryan, and for, uh, you know, going with what I thought you should do. So thank you. Uh, thank you. Y'all see me with the letterman now. Get the <laughs> GB. Yeah.